How's it going ladies and gentlemen? It's Manny here, welcome aboard. It's a pleasure to have you here. I hope you guys are doing well today. In this video, we are going to review the small rig member cage for Canon EOS R5. Just for disclosure, small rig did send me this cage for me to test out and review. So with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So I've had this cage for about a month or so now and I've had the chance to go outside and test it out and shoot some content with it. And I also took it out to shot a mini film about skateboarders and you can basically watch it in the channel. I'm gonna link it up here somewhere or down below in the description. So do make sure to check it out if you want to. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the things I like about the cage and why I think this is very useful for hybrid shooters like myself, as well as anyone who are video shooters that has a Canon EOS R5 and R6. Right, so this is what you will get in the box when you get the black member kit. You have the cage, the cable clamp, the top handle, and two M3 screws and then at the bottom you have the tool which slots right underneath and held securely by a magnet. This is really handy for me as this tool stays with me wherever I go to shoot. So many times in the past where I had my cage with me out shooting and I have found parts of the screw came loose and I had to always find something like coins or my car keys to try and screw up those loose ends and try and screw it back in place. So by having this hidden away like this within the cage itself is such a good idea and helps me so much when I'm in difficult situations. Then in this box you have the wooden side handle. This came with a hex spanner which is hidden away within the side handle again. I like this nice touch from small rig as I have always found myself needing the tool and didn't have one with me so this will just solve the problem for me when I do actually need one. So. In terms of the weight of the cage, it weighs in at 313 grams, which I think is quite light for what it is. Part of the cage are made out of monocoque carbon fiber. I'm trying to spell it right here somewhere. Such as this part right here. Let me just show you. So this is the part right here that are made out of monocoque carbon fiber construction. So that's why they are actually a little bit lighter than your normal uh, cage that made out of uh, full metal. Now with this type of minimal design, I do find that it's really comfortable to hold when I'm out filming compared to the other cage that I've used in the past. And unlike other cage, I don't find this to be bulky or gets in the way when I'm shooting. What I mean by that is that, for example, some of the older cage, you have those metals and construction over here that actually covered up some of the buttons, which makes it really difficult for me to access to. Sometimes it even covered up all the menus and the on and off switch button or the record button. And I don't find this cage has any of that issue. And so which is why this is really convenient for me. And on the side, you have the wooden side handle. For me, ergonomically, this is really comfortable to handle. And I also find that the wooden design actually make it really stand out and contrast nicely with the cage. And what I like about the side handle is that you can use it on both sides. You can use it on the left side here, just like this, or you can actually unscrew that one and then turn it to the right side and then use it as a right side handle. So for me, that's quite convenient. The cage has many different mounting options available from top to side and to the bottom. So it has multiple one quarter inch 20 threaded holes, three of the eight inch 16 threaded holes, also cold shoe mounts on top here with other mounting options available. Then on top here, you have the top handle that slots in nicely here like that. And you just tighten it up with a tool at the bottom of the cage. And you will have yourself a top handle as well as extra threads and cold shoe mount for monitor, audio recorder, or portable lighting. On both sides, you have the additional threads for where the side handle will go. You will also find the cable clamp on the side for protection of cables and ports during shooting. Then at the bottom, you have the triple protection to help prevent twisting. Really like this idea, by the way. As I know for a fact that previously, I have had few cage where it doesn't have extra locking mechanism and resulted in camera sliding out of position, which can be really annoying. And at the bottom, the battery compartment are also uh, designed in a way that is not covered by the cage and it's easier 
for you to remove the battery if you want to when whenever the battery runs out and so forth. As mentioned before, you will find that there is a tool key tucked away underneath the cage where you can just easily remove when you need it. Now this tool is for tightening any loose end that you have with the screw as well as the top handle on the cage. So it's really important that you keep it with you and don't lose it. So guard it with your life basically. Now the wooden side handle also has a one quarter inch 20 threads holes and then 3 8 inch 16 threaded holes as well as cold shoe mount on top here which I've uh, put the road mic on top and as mentioned before right at the top it has the hex spanner which tucked away nicely like that which is great for people like me who normally never really think about carrying any toolkit with me when I'm out shooting so to have the toolkit just hidden away nicely like that within the side handle or within the cage really does come in handy and really does help me get out of those difficult situations whenever I need those toolkit and I also has up and down adjustable design on the side here as well so if you can actually move this side handle up or down to whatever that suits your need basically which is really handy right after about one month of shooting with and without the cage on the Canon ESR5 I found that with most mirrorless and DSLR camera it is usually fairly light and usually when it doesn't have the cage it doesn't have the stability and you don't really have much control with the movement and horizon of the camera but by having the cage and the side handle alongside it, it allows me to hold the camera steadily and keep the horizon more leveled compared to if I just have the camera handheld without the cage Although achieving nice and steady shot can still be done without the side handle or the cage but with the side handle and the cage it definitely has made the whole shooting experience much easier and also it has made shooting those steady and horizon leveled video much more achievable than before. And the top handle of the cage is definitely one of my favorite feature. Now over here it has the cold shoe mount on top over here and I can also mount my monitor on top as well just like that I can get it in there you go so with this I can then shoot on a low angle if I wanted to so when I'm shooting those low angle I have a monitor to view and I won't have an issue to try and frame the shots on an awkward angle and it's easier for me to see what's happening within the screen as well and then when I'm not shooting I can just hold the camera in a briefcase mode like that comfortably and without my hands getting tired so apart from handheld shooting I can also mount the whole cage alongside the camera onto the gimbal as well I've had the cage alongside the R5 attached onto the DJI RSC2 right here when I'm out filming the skateboarder mini film and to my surprise it performed really well even though you have all these weights on top of the gimbal especially I have the cage and also have the camera as well as the extra quick release plate right here added in and not only that I also have the Rode wireless mic attached on top of the cage as well for audio solution the one thing you do have to do though is to remove the side handle as well as the top handle to reduce the weight otherwise it will be too heavy and it's going to be all over the place however this pro process does take a little bit extra time than usual but it shouldn't take too long to do once you get used to it now I was really happy with the footage that it came out and shooting from the gimbal with the cage alongside my Canon ES R5 I thought it was quite stable and it still performs quite well even though there is so much weight added on top of the gimbal now at the beginning I was worried that it was going to be too heavy for the gimbal to handle with all these extra weights added to the gimbal but turns out it performed quite well and some of the footage was quite stable even though I was running and tracking and following the skateboarder. Now having the cage alongside R5 mount onto the gimbal was surprisingly not actually that heavy to handle at all. Although your arms will get tired if you're shooting non-stop for hours but if you were just to hold it to shoot a few scenes and then take a rest in between and have it in the resting position then I don't think you will have that problems of having tired arms at all. 
So, what do I like about the Black Mamba cage? I like the fact that it's lightweight and because it's made out of carbon fiber construction and the fact that it also fits snugly onto the camera itself without all those stuff sticking out at the bottom and on the side as well like other cage that you have seen previously and I also think that by having wooden side handle alongside the cage itself provide extra stability when I'm filming. Also with many mounts available on top and all the threads alongside it I'm able to mount many things on to the camera itself for example i can mount this monitor and i also can mount audios and i also can mount portable lighting if i wanted to and another thing i really like about the small rig is that they actually include all these tools and spanner on the side handle like this and also right at the bottom here with the hex spanner which is really useful. These tools and spanner will always come in handy, especially when you need the tools to tighten the loose end and also have something that are not tightened that you need to tighten up. And the good thing is these are already hidden away inside the cage and you can just basically took it out and easily just tighten any loose end up. So why is it useful for hybrid shooters like myself? Well, having a cage not only offers protection for my camera, in case if I do drop it, but also in certain scenes, I do need to film with an audio. So by having the cage, I am able to actually attach my audio onto the side handle or onto the cage itself. And I'm also able to mount the monitor onto the top itself so I can frame my subject as well as having the audio solution. And alongside that I can also add portable lighting as well if I wanted to. So for me this cage is a match made in heaven for the Canon EOS R5 or even the EOS R6 if you have one. With this slim line and lightweight design it's definitely the one that most hybrid shooters should have. So anyway, I hope you find this review useful. If you do find it useful, don't forget to hit that like button and do consider subscribe and also follow. Any question, just drop a comment down below. I will get back to you. And until then, I will see you on the next video. See ya.